Hello coders, this is Shuvar here and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can download and install MinGW compiler for C++. So let's start. So first of all you have to go to Google and search for MinGW. Okay? And click on the second link that is sourceforce.net website. Okay? So click on it and now click on the download option right here and uh, install the installer on your system. It is very basic process I am sure you can do it. And now once it is installed there this application will be installed and you have to open it and now just go to the basic setup and uh, right click on each of these options and click on mark for installation for each of these as i have already installed all the packages so i'm not gonna do it again and uh, after that you have to go to the installation and click on apply changes and you click on it the process will begin and the download will start and it will take some time so have patience and uh, then once all these packages are installed on your system you can close all the windows and now the only thing left is uh, that we have to add the path of bin folder to our environment variable for that you have to go to local disk C okay so you have to go to local disk C and uh, go to the mingw folder and in here you have to go to the bin folder now right click on this box and copy this path okay so um, now what you have to do is just right click on this PC icon and go to properties ok now go to advanced system settings and here click on environment variables now there are many system variables and we have to select the path system variable just select this option and click on edit and now click on new when you click on it and uh, you will be there will be some space and in here you have to paste that path which you have copied okay so I'm not gonna do it because I have already created my environment variable of this path now I'll click on OK, OK, and OK. So we have completed our uh, installation of MinGW compiler, and what we do is huh, we just need to check if it is installed properly on our system. For that, we go to the command prompt, just type cmd and uh, click enter. Now you have to type the command g plus plus minus minus version now press enter now it is showing me that my g plus plus version is 6.3.0 so it is installed properly and uh, that's it for this video guys I'll see you in the next video